The window of opportunity for the Kremlin in the war against Ukraine is closing. Already in the future year of 2025, President Putin will have to end his so-called special military operation. This opinion was expressed by Russian oppositionist and economist Vladimir Milov in an interview with Khodorovsky Live on YouTube. He claims that Moscow still has the strength to continue the war for the next six months. However, after that, major problems will begin in a number of sectors, including the economy. I think that 2025 will be an obvious year for Putin when it becomes clear that he will not be able to continue the war against Ukraine. This year, they are still working on the remaining resources while there is money. But with such intensity of military actions, they are being spent so quickly that they are no longer visible in 25 years. The planned budget deficit for this year is half of the remaining liquid part of the National Welfare Fund. If everything goes according to plan, then by January the 1st, there will be a little bit left. It will not be enough for anything, and they will have to increase the military budget, Milov said. In his opinion, the Kremlin understands the deplorable nature of the situation. That is why Putin and his close associates have actively started talking about their readiness to sit down at the negotiating table with Ukraine. He wants to fix the situation for himself at the highs. For now, it seems that he can do everything, that Zaporizhia, Kherson and Donbass are just the beginning. But in 2025, there will be a completely different picture and much depends on how Ukraine and the West will be able to use this, whether they will be able to organize some new pressure for a rollback or there will be talk about fixing what is. But I am sure that next year, Putin will be forced to take practical steps to stop active military actions, the Russian oppositionist stated. As reported by Ram Reports, Iran has recently installed several Russian long-range electronic warfare systems, including the Murmansk BN, in strategic locations across the country. Follow Army Recognition Media Outlet recalls that the Murmansk BN system, one of Russia's most powerful jamming communication systems, can conduct radio reconnaissance, intercept and suppress enemy signals throughout the short wave range with an operational reach of up to 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers. This installation comes amid rising tensions with Israel following the assassination of Hamas political bureau chief Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. According to the Israeli news service Channel 14, Russia has transferred Iskander missile systems to its Iranian allies. The weapons were transferred using an IL-76 military transport aircraft, which has made multiple flights from Russia to Iran. Army recognition says that the latest report about Iran's deployment of the Murmansk BN system emerged after continuous flights of Russian transport aircraft between Russia and Iran were observed through flight tracking applications such as flight radar. These flights are suspected of transporting various unknown weapons systems to Iran. The Mamansk BN system is not only the most powerful electronic warfare system in the Russian military, but also one of the most advanced globally. It can jam and intercept enemy radio signals, GPS, communications and satellite systems, rendering smart munitions and drone systems ineffective. The Mamansk BN is an electronic warfare system developed by the Russian company Kret, intended for long-range communications jamming. It was introduced into service in 2014 and is designed to disrupt NATO and US high-frequency military satellite communications. The system includes multiple vehicle-mounted antenna masts, using Kamaz trucks and trailers, each extended up to 32 meters, covering an area of 640,000 square kilometers. Deployment time is 72 hours, and it has impacted US stealth fighter operations over the Black and Baltic Seas by interfering with their avionics. The system operates as part of a network-centric capability within the Russian Electronic Warfare Command and Control System. Recently, OSINT Defender reported that during a meeting with military and defense officials, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu discussed a potential preemptive strike against Iran. Such a strike would only be authorized if there was definite intelligence confirming that Iran was about to launch an attack against Israel. Meanwhile, the White House is reportedly in the final stages of approving a shipment of 1,800 Mark 84 2,000-pound bombs to Israel. This shipment 
had been withheld for months following the Israeli invasion of Rafah in southern Gaza. However, half of the shipment, consisting of 1,700 Mark 82 500 pound bombs, had already received approval from the Biden administration in early July. These munitions will be crucial for the Israeli Air Force if a full-scale war breaks out with Hezbollah or Iran. The Israeli Defense Forces remain on high alert, intercepting numerous rockets and drones launched from Lebanon by Hezbollah.